What's up guys, this is Bryant here from the Gaming Guys, and that's Dylan. And today we are going to be doing a review on the Strife. Uh, the orange Strife. Huh? Orange Strife. Um, uh, the coloring, I, I really don't like the coloring on the orange one, so you know what? Make it blue. Bam. Yeah. We did some modding with this <laughs> a lot. We did some modding. Corny magic. Yeah, corny magic we like. Um, we're, we we're talking about that for this. at least 10 minutes before. <laughs> We've been modding with this for, um, we modded this a day. We modded this a day ago, and what we did was we was just like, took my yeah. my cousin Strife. He had a blue one, and he took his apart, and then he attached it on the mine. It was his idea to do it. I actually liked his idea, so I kept it like for this. For once. Yeah, I know, for once, seriously. Um, He made it. He took the mods. I'm going to show you the mods just real quick. He took it so I can pull the trigger anytime I want to, which doesn't really do anything. I can still rev it. There's a way to rev it without having to have a clip. If there's a button right here, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's right there. Well, I mean, okay, so there's so a yeah, there's a button, button down there, but then, also the um those control box is like right around here somewhere, so that's where you can um control how to use your like right. your lever rev and stuff. So I'm not gonna waste your battery because it's yeah. like forever to load. Um, so anyway. essentially you just. Fixed the trigger and made a different color. And my cousin gave me a sh um and a, a stock. Um, uh, what is it? A super soaker stock. Yeah. I really like this stock. It's because, really, only because of this, only because of this. It's just really cool. But I'm gonna shoot with the stock on because it's actually really comfortable. But if you don't know what the strife is, it's essentially um, um se it's semi-automatic. Um, I'll do orange side. It's semi-automatic. It has. Um, I can't remember. What it is it capable. It's capable of holding a um end strike. Uh, attachment, barrel. attachment barrel, and has two uh, tactical ra uh, tactical railings on the top right here, one and one on one tactical railing on the top, and one tactical railing right um, below the barrel, which you can use to hold a like a like a whatever it's called. Which I don't really recommend having a little handle because it's really uncomfortable. But but anyway, let's get to the final. We're gonna test. get to the shooting test, and we're just gonna see how it is. So Dylan's gonna go. One shot at a time. He's actually just gonna spam it so that you can see. So and this is the we're using green darts. Green darts. Using our mags. Let's go. Six that mags. So Let's go. Okay. So as you see, we're using a lamp. That's our setup right there. It's very corny, but it works. It works. So that's where we sit. This couch right here, and it's our lamp. It's shoot, uh, and whatnot. But turn on the hall light, Don. Ah! My voice is not warmed up today. Okay. So here. You guys, you guys know the drill already. There, from the sink to Dylan. Oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. To Dylan, it's about seven feet. Feet, <laughs> feet. So we're just gonna dip through it. Don't tell me I stopped the video. Okay, good. Yeah, low mistake there. And go. Okay. Ow. Ow. Ow! Stop hitting me. No, All right, it. he got three shots on me. Ben, okay. So Dylan's gonna get his. Dylan's gonna get his bullets, and we're just gonna meet back up here like we do every other video. Um, you you get you get the hang of it after about five five videos. You get the hang of it. But hold up. There we go. So yeah, so they all landed about seven feet. All landed about the whole length. It didn't hit the didn't hit the sink though. But there was no mods to make it fly better. Yeah. He there didn't put any mods in there, there so... It was just to let you do that and crap. It also lets you, um, web without a bullet in there. Which I actually like. He took the lock out. That was annoying. Okay, so that... But... That's... Okay, so we have about a minute left. So, actually, do your... Do your opinion. I honestly think the stripe is a 10 out of 10. The accuracy is IGN great. 10 out of 10. Daddy 10! Um, I honestly think it's a great gun. Without the mods, it might be a little annoying. Because my, before, without the mods, my trigger caught getting stuck. Because I, I have a pretty fast trigger finger. So my, he's, a, he's trigger happy. <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't go full auto. You should auto. play with him. That's why I can't go full auto. I'll totally, like, spam. you just go. <laughs> I'm out of bullets, guys. Shoot I'm me. I'm out of bullets. Um, but anyway, it's an amazing gun. I'm... 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, so while we have this time, um, I rushed you a little bit, so I'm sorry. But just want to tell you that 
We may not be doing a lot of gaming on this channel. We may be doing a lot of nerf stuff because because I mean, our cousins really into nerf. We're and we're into nerf, so a lot. we love it. It's fun. It's we awesome. will do gaming though. We will do a little while. bit of gaming. Like, Maybe Mortal Kombat. Just well, yeah, some Mortal Kombat. We yeah, got that too. Um, but mostly our channel is gonna consist of Nerf reviews, uh, firing tests, maybe some um, wars, you know, uh, and gaming. Private. And some challenges. Even though we're called the gaming guys. Even though we're the gaming guys, because we thought we were gonna be a gaming channel yeah, when we, we created it. We thought we were, but then our cousin got into Nerf, so we started buying these. And so that's it. See you later. From the gaming guys, where's the bullet, Dylan? Bye.